Hey, what is up? Welcome back Design Squad. Welcome back to this Design Tool Tuesday where I'm gonna showcase design tools which I like to share with my peer designers, junior designers or anyone in design community or tech community who would benefit from such tool or method or pattern or plugin or something free they can play around with like today's AI tool. And today I'm gonna show you this nifty little tool which basically produces photos and produces custom pictures based on a very rudimentary simple input. But it's an experiment from NVIDIA and I guess it's one of the researchers or data scientists who came up with this method to generate photos and they look pretty damn good. And I was impressed the first time I tried it, I was like just blown away like, wow, how can it do it? And as you can see on my screen right now, from one of the predefined photos down below, I just selected the scene and basically generated a photo based on my simple input. As you can see, you can layer and just put some stuff and then it generates the simple background. You know, to access it, just go to this URL up above just input it as an experiment. It's not, you know, an official kind of user friendly version. If you just basically go to that URL, you're going to get a fresh outlook to the tool. You're going to have to check uh, th this box that you agree with TNCs because Nvidia stores this information and naturally, you know, through machine learning algorithms, you're training the machine to do better and better. And as we store information, you know, you're going to train it to do better decisions in VM, but already it's pretty damn good. And by default, as you can see, you're going to end up with this, a few brush strokes, a few choices to select, let's say coloring, but every color represents some other selections from this menu. It's not user friendly by any means. What you can do with this, as you can see, immediately you can just select, let's say, one of the predefined landscape photos, which is going to use as a basic, as a basic background information. You can also upload a segmentation mat, landscape image. If you have something from Unsplash and Photo, you can just upload and use that as a basis. And you can immediately generate the output. Boom, it automatically produced off that picture. If I select something else, boom, it produces that picture. And so I can use the bitmap existing one to generate AI photo. And it looks pretty damn realistic unless you are looking for specific pixels, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference. But let me just actually draw out something so you immediately see exactly what the outcome could be like. So for example, here in the input field, I could just add, you know, different ground bits. So let's say maybe there is a road, maybe there's a lot of sand around it. Ooh. As you can see, I'm not the best drawing with the mouse here, but you get the drill. If you have time, you can then kind of make it even better. You can add some mud, let's say. The more complex you're going to make this image, by the way, the longer it's going to take to actually generate it. But just to show you that it can actually make something damn cool out of a very simple layering, out of a very simple picture, maybe just also a river and some maybe clouds to you're going to see that using that same bitmap down below, it can actually generate something pretty damn cool. Boom. It looks something like Iceland. It's pretty damn impressive. And now imagine if I select something else like that purple background, it just remastered in a purple background. If I upload, let's say previously done segmentation map this input field like this, and I just reload it. And it takes a little bit, but boom, as you can see, it looks a bit smudgy around the edges, but it does look pretty damn awesome. And if I, let's say, add a building, I don't know, maybe a house here or something along those lines, it looks a bit off. I have to say that. Um, let's add more objects and just regenerate. Let's see how that could look like. Boom, as you can see, you then create more of a dreamlike scenery. And if let's say your picture doesn't have a road or something along those lines, it's going to be much harder for it to paint the road. But as you can see, it looks pretty damn awesome. If you ask me, if I just redo something else, just knowing how it works a bit better. You know, we as designers strive for because that's a future for us, you know, automating tedious tasks and photo productions. Imagine if you embed this algorithm into your website and it automatically regenerates 
the bitmap based on your location. So let's say if you are in the Middle East, maybe it generates a bit of a, I don't know, something more towards deserty look and feel rather than I don't know more greenery. But as you can see, it generates, and that reminds me of a like of a games type of generated background. Maybe it's this is the application for it. Ooh, look at that. It becomes like a piece of art. And I really like what it, what it does with this. And just to test the last bit, I'm just going to generate some very simple mountains. But as you can see, it still generates something. And let's see if we add a bit of rocks there in the middle, just to break that pattern out. Let's see if that does. It does a little bit. So you could use that as a low res type of imagery. Just given that we can do this now, in the future, we're going to be able to generate high fidelity bitmaps. Nobody's going to be able to tell the difference because machines are learning. And you know, you trying this tool out just like I did now, it's becoming more and more better because it registers exactly what we are after. And I'm sure if I, let's say, download that output right now, it knows that I liked it and it flagged it as a green light. These are the decisions which it should inform the future iterations, let's say. As per usual, if you like this video about design tools like such or something experimental like this specific AI tool, let's say, uh, give a like, subscribe to this channel, share with your friend, leave a comment down below what you think about it. Do you see this applicable in your work in any way? Maybe it's just, uh, you know, the proof of concept right now. Uh, you know, the first version is going to come out at some point, which is going to be actual professional grade. Who knows? But these are exciting times and I love how innovative this actually is. And so without further ado, have an awesome Tuesday and until next week.